So at this point, it really does seem like every single map from Zombies Chronicles will have a little bit of a minor Easter egg added in on top of everything that we see, including that of the main quests. Of course, there's no alternate endings or anything like that to the main quests of the main Easter eggs, but these little Easter eggs that are added in on top perhaps maybe lead to something else, perhaps just maybe something that has nothing of significance at all other than they give us a max ammo as well as an Easter egg song. But in this one today, we're going to be showcasing a little bit of a newer Easter egg here on Moon. I do believe this was uploaded by quite a few people yesterday, but I just did not get around to it while prepping the next week and a half of videos that I have for while I'm away. But I want to let you guys know about this if you guys have not seen it already or if you guys just want to check it out again. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Moon Hide and Seek Easter Egg with the Samantha dolls that give you a max ammo as well as an Easter Egg song and show you guys exactly how to do it. So compared to the Ascension Easter Egg that we talked about yesterday, this one is rather simple in steps. And of course, it's all in one centralized location. So that makes it a lot nicer as well, too. However, it gets a little bit more complicated in some steps because it is a little bit of a longer process and deals with nodes on a console that you have to get right. And if you don't, it ends up messing up the sequence and you have to come back at a later point in time and try it again. But the first thing is first, you want to make your way down to the MPD room where there's power, where there's the mystery box location, where the MPD itself is. And in the smaller of the two rooms, you can see that there is a console with multiple different stations, some monitors, things like that. And this is where we're going to be focused on because this is the very beginning of this Easter egg. Now, just for universal clarity, we'll go from left to right, or rather left then wrap around, go to right to number these consoles to make it easier to tell you guys which ones to hit. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Now, when you go and actually try and interact with these consoles to end up getting this string going and end up initiating the Easter egg, the numbers that you want to hit the consoles in order are three, one, one, four, four, one, four, two, four, two, four, one, one, two, three. And of course, I'll put those up on screen for you guys that are ending up trying to do this yourself and not having to come over my commentary multiple times in order to do this. You can just take a look at it and check it for yourselves. But that is the order in which you need to hit these consoles. Now, a little disclaimer is that if you end up missing one and say skipping over, once again, it takes a little bit of time for it to reset. So you're gonna have to come back at a later point in time. I think the first time that I did this, I actually thought that I hit one because there was a zombie next to me and it made the swim hit noise. Therefore, I thought that I got it, but I didn't actually interact with the console. And so I had to come back a couple of minutes later on a different round to try it out again. And therefore, I got it at that point. Now, once you finish up this sequence and you end up interacting with the last console of the set, you'll get, of course, the Samantha shrieking thunderous noise that you always get for completing the steps of these. And then it will actually end up spawning the doll in for you to start the hide and seek. And this is where it gets super easy but also kind of super annoying at one point. But whenever you go over to the wall that is, as you're facing the MPD to the left, you'll see a Samantha's doll just chilling right there. As of the other times we've done these Easter eggs, just interact with it by holding square, or if this is something you see when Xbox One and PC get it, X on the Xbox controller. This will then spawn, I believe, seven dolls in the MPD room, and that's the beauty of it, is because whereas you had to search around the map for the other ones in different maps, these are all right there. All seven that you need to hit are in a V formation that all you have to do is take them out by shooting them all. And then of course, once again, it will queue up the shrieking noise and then it will return the doll to where it was whenever you interacted with it initially to which it will be standing up. And when you interact with it one more time, a skeleton hand will come up, push the doll up and then grab it and pull it into the ground, giving you a max ammo and then queuing up the Easter egg song. So it's as simple as that. I think this might be one of the easier ones that we've seen thus far. Once again, we've seen one on Moon, Ascension, Shinonuma, Nocturne Toten. So we've seen a bunch of these around the different Zombies Chronicles maps, and it really is looking like a lot of these, if not all of these, will have these minor Easter eggs added on top, and perhaps one can theorize and one can speculate and be hopeful that this leads to something of a little bit of an overarching Easter egg between the Zombies Chronicles maps, but I guess right now that's just all speculation, and time will tell once somebody maybe completes all of these, but we'll see. But that is how you do the Easter egg on Moon with the new hide and seek Easter egg. So hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you guys can maybe get a Max Ammo, some nice Easter egg enjoyment out of this. Whatever it may be though, that's how you do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of these hide and seek Easter eggs? Do you think they will lead to something after all of them are completed like that of a super Easter egg if you want to put it that way? 
though obviously not on a grand scale of a super easter egg, but you get what I mean. Let me know your thoughts down there, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles, Zombies, Black Ops 3 multiplayer, Modern Warfare Mastered, Call of Duty World War 2, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Mine is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.